we do have quite a few people on the call. So just a reminder, if you have a question, please go ahead and raise your hand. And we will start with Michelle Kaufman from the Miami Herald. Hello. Hi, Frank. Hi, uh, Hi Michelle. Michelle. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm going to be heading up there tomorrow to cover the big game. Um, I just wanted to ask you, with the uncertainty of, of Leo Messi, um, how do you how do you prepare? It's kind of a two part question. How do you prepare not knowing if the you know arguably the best player in the world is going to play or not play? How do you how does that affect you as you're preparing? And also, how is this team different when he's on the field from when he's not on the field? <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, really good questions, Michelle. I think we have to prepare for both both scenarios. I think even when he's on the field there, first of all, if he's not on the field, I think that they, they're still a very good team. They made some really uh, excellent additions uh, in a secondary window. And uh, I mean, obviously that's that's been shown within every match uh, and the way they play and compete. Obviously with uh, with Messi on the pitch, it's, it's uh, you know, it's an element to their team and in their game where you have a very good team, but you have a player now that at any moment can, uh, you know, uh, turn the game upside down with one play. So obviously he's, it, it, it's it's a little bit of a different team. It, it's, a you know, uh, obviously with him on the pitch, but we have to prepare, you know, both scenarios. If he's on the pitch, if, if he's not on the pitch, uh, I think the, our tactical organization has to cover, we'll, we'll go through a couple different scenarios. And then I think, you know, we, we have confidence. We're playing at home. Uh, we need to to also be, uh, you know, come out with 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 a lot of energy. I think the atmosphere is going to be, be be great. I think they're all <laughs> uh, fans here from Chicago. They want to come see obviously the game and see see Messi, but also it's an opportunity to showcase uh, our talented players that we have. So we'll cover different scenarios. And, and like you said, obviously with with if he's on the field, it's it's it is a different team because you have one player that at any moment. You cannot take your eyes off them and, uh, you know, with one play can can change the outcome of a game, you know, uh, but they're still a very good team. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll see you up there. Sounds great. Thank you. Recording in progress. Thank Hello. you. Next, was... we'll go to Alex Calabresi. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Dee. Hey, hey, Coach. Uh, nice to speak with you today. I'm also Hi, heading, heading over to Chicago tomorrow, so I'll see you there. Um, I wanted to ask about Jordan Shakiri because we're going to speak to him after. And he's had his ups and downs this season. Sometimes he's really looked like that player we know he can be, but he's also struggled at times. So how do you think you can get the best version of Shakiri in these important games down the stretch? No, I think Shaq is a player that steps up in big moments and in big game, big games. I think he relishes opportunities like that where he can, you know, uh, be in pressure moments. I think he's used to to stepping up in in pressure moments in all his career. And uh, uh, I have all the confidence in a, uh, in Shaq. Uh, for me, he he's still a difference maker. Uh, and uh, uh, in every match, I think he provides uh, moments in 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 his play that can that can change the game. Also, uh, I've always said uh, that we we need. Uh, Obviously, other players on the team and a very good team performance uh, within every match in order to, you know, to, to, to get the results. But I feel Shaq, for me, in, in, in big moments, he, he's always uh, the kind of guy that you can count on. And uh, uh, I know that, that he's going to be ready, uh, you know, to give us something next round Wednesday as we're, you know, put ourselves in a great spot now. Um, everything is in our hands to 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 take the next step and uh, one game at a time, but put ourselves in a great spot uh, in order to be there in the playoffs. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Joe Chats on Tap Sportsnet. Thanks, Z. Thanks, Frank. How are you doing today, sir? Great, Joe. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you. Uh, first, quickly, uh, availability. I'm curious uh, if Brian and uh, Rafa are at the point where they could potentially play a full match on Wednesday. And then I'm curious about uh, your three center forward strikers. Uh, we saw Casper get an extended run on Saturday, sure down a man, but he was very uh, successful on the pitch. I'm curious uh, how you're feeling about that position with Kai still unable to find the goal in the last couple months, but Casper playing well and Yorios, of course, uh, getting that goal. Oof, it's a long one, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, it's a big week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, with the strikers, I just, I, I felt like, you know, I think we, as, as, as coaches and as a staff, we try to find solutions in a game. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I think Kutsi, uh, all players have obviously different characteristics. I think with, with, Kut says we knew it's a game that we needed energy. We needed someone to to be able to to, to stretch the back line, to constantly make runs, because uh, there was a team that in, in transition moments, I think that they really struggled and have given up a lot of goals. So I I, I felt you know he, he you know was was someone that is willing to get behind, is willing to make runs behind the back line, and uh, and he 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 came in with excellent energy and. Obviously, a big goal, and uh, really a game where, you know, it was almost like a must-win on the road. I know a lot of people had counted us out, but I think the key, the team came and had an excellent performance. We made some some changes uh, that we needed to uh, because we felt, you know, going into that game is what we needed. So, uh, you know, and Casper, look, he's he's worked hard. You know, he's a guy that you know I've had different conversations throughout the year with him. Um, and, and, you know, trying to manage the players and making sure that they stay focused and continue to work hard. And, uh, um, and, uh, once their moment comes and it can come in different, you know, different times throughout the season to be ready to, to step in and perform, you know, and he did that. He came in, worked extremely hard. Um, and, um, so, um, they're all ready to go. Um, as far as Guti and, 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 and Rafa, they're all ready to go. Uh, which is uh, which is a it's a good thing. The 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 guys that are not still obviously it's Pineda, Amari he's still out, and and Federico Navarro, but they're getting very close. Thank you, Frank. Appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. Thank you. Next, we will go to Larry Holly from WGN. Hey, Frank, hope you're well. Thanks for taking some time today. Uh, Frank, what, what does this game and, and this moment mean for the fire? What does it mean to your team? What does it mean to the franchise? Because you're going to have so many people who will be at that game who, who may be seeing the club for the first time. Uh, what does it mean to have this kind of kind of match? Not only maybe significance, yeah. but not only for that, but also, you know, standing as well. What, what does it mean to you guys? No, I think it's a big moment. I think, you know, when you play international matches, we have in the past where you bring Man United here and you fill out the stadium at Soldier Field. And I think those are moments that, as a team, you have to take advantage of. I think they're all Chicago fans, sports fans that might not always come to the games, but then you have an opportunity where they come out, you know, to see probably one of the best players in the world. Uh, but also it's an opportunity now for us to to showcase the the, the, the quality and the young and the players that we have. So, it, it is an opportunity uh, uh, for us really to to take advantage of a moment like this and, you know, and, and then get people that maybe come, you know, in once or twice a year to, to, to games, games like this, where they can just say, hey, this was really an exciting game. This is a great team, really exciting team. It was an exciting game. And uh, why not be a, you know, buy season tickets next year? So moments like this that you have to take advantage of. That's the one thing. Uh, and then the second thing is, again, we're fighting for the playoffs. Um, we put ourselves in a great spot, uh, in a great spot in the sense that everything is in our hands. We don't need to, you know, basically rely on anyone else. And uh, uh, this was a massive win against the Red Bulls, which just kind of lines up great uh, with Miami coming in. Um, and uh, so we have to look at... Uh, uh, that situation also take advantage and, you know, three points here and a win would put us in a great spot before, you know, uh, our last home game of the season against Charlotte. So a, a lot to play for, for sure. The big moment, big opportunities. And these are the the the, the, the moments where you got to grasp and take advantage of as a team. Thank you, Frank. Good luck on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. And next, we will go to Hernan Espinosa from La Fiera Deportiva. 
Uh, Frank, how are you? Um, uh, tomorrow, I mean, sorry, Wednesday is a big game, but also you have two games consecutive. I want to ask you uh, specifically about Inter Miami. Uh, they have many good players, even if Messi doesn't play. Uh, have you been analyzing uh, how you're going to uh, mark them like Jose Martinez or Campana or even uh, the Sebus Kets uh, if he plays? Uh, I imagine you have a plan for, for Inter Miami and also different uh, uh, players will play on Saturday. Uh, am I correct? Yeah, our focus is on Wednesday, though, you know, and uh, you're right. I mean, you mentioned, you know, obviously if Messi doesn't play, but still I think another key guy with them is 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 uh, Busquets. Uh, he kind of runs the show for them. Um, uh, and then obviously <clears throat> Martinez is an extremely dangerous player who knows the league really well. Excellent movement. Campania is also a quality player, but also, you know, Farias and, and, and Taylor, they're also two key guys for them. Uh, if Messi doesn't play. So, uh, like I said, you know, earlier, I think, you know, you have almost an analogy, like I can say where, you know, if I go back, because I grew up here in Chicago from a very young age, and if I look at some of, uh, you know, I, I can compare, like, let's just say the Chicago Bulls, you know, when Michael Jordan didn't play, they still had a very good team, but then you had Michael Jordan and maybe they don't, you know, they win eight in a row. So, I mean, I think, so Miami is... Still a very, very good team with some excellent players, you know, but then you have the icing and the cake that a messy place is the one player that will always give you that, uh, the edge. And at any moment, he can make a play and win the game for him, you know? Thank you. Next, we will go to Russell Wifey. Hey, Coach. Um, thank you very much for your time. I think it's just a follow up with, with the Lionel Messi question. I have two questions though, but it, it seems like it's just a follow up with the Lionel Messi um, coming to Chicago. There are so many reports he might not show up, you know, because of the uh, his engagement with the national team of Argentina. So my question is, is there going to be a different approach because we are not going to see him? Or in case he pulls up, we are going to see a different approach when Messi is on the field. The second one is Osma Dumbia. He's played eight games for Yellow Cards. Um, personally, how do you rate his performance for Chicago Fire? Thank you, Coach. Yeah, two questions. No, like, I mean, I, it, like I said, I think that, you know, I mean, Messi presents obviously a, a, a different challenge, but I think, look, they have other really good players on the team. And if, even if Messi is there, Busquets is still the guy that always, you, you have to rely on some players to, to get you the ball in the in the right spots. And Busquets is, a, is, 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 is a, one of the best in the world at doing that. He was. I mean, that, that there's a familiarity with him and, and Barcelona and doesn't change here. So there's still, you know, if Messi's playing and Busquets is there, of course, you have to worry about Messi. But there's also, before the ball comes to him, you know, uh, uh, what do you do to address situations like that? So, you know, we'll, we'll be prepared. But in the end of the day, it's still about you know, our team and believing in, 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 in and going on the field and playing with confidence. And we, we have a very good team with very good players. So um, we, we need to be, obviously, without the ball, uh, our organization has to be very good. We have to be disciplined, but then we have to have the, you know, with the ball to have the confidence because we have players also that can that can impact game and win games on their own. We have excellent individual players and and, and as a team, we've proven that we can beat anyone. So we, we need to go on the field with that kind of confidence. Dumbia, Dumbia, for me, he's always a player that you can rely on. You know, you know what you're going to get from him uh, within every match. Um, he 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 uh, he's a very dynamic player, a two-way player in this league. He's got an uh, incredible engine to cover a lot of ground. Um, so I'm I'm very pleased uh, with Osmani. He's he, he's he's developing and getting to know the league, and he's performing better and better within every game. Uh, and he really knows our defensive organization. He's a smart player tactically on the pitch, uh, which helps a lot. He's got a lot of experience, but he's just a great guy within the group and the team, and he will do whatever it takes for the success of the team. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Alex, I see your hand is up. We'll go last question back to Alex Calabresi. Sure, thank you. Um, Coach, I wanted to ask about some of the young players on this team, like 
Chris, Guti, Kutsi, what's this experience going to be like for them to play in, you know, in front of maybe 40,000 or more fans in their home stadium against a really good team as well? Yeah, I think it's exciting. I mean, this is what you, you know, I mean, you, you we wish that every game would be, uh, Soldier Field would be, would be sold out. I mean, that's, that is our goal. I mean, and then it's, we've shown in the past with big uh, games that we brought here, you know, when national teams play, when international uh, friendlies are are here and, you know, and in the past when we had the all-star game, I think there's a huge soccer following here. We just got to get them out the game. Um, I think they'll be exciting, uh, obviously, but I think for those guys, I think for me, it's, it's you know, putting that, that jersey on and representing the fire, it, it, it's, it's something special for them. I mean, all these guys have come, you know, especially not Kutsis, but, but he's a young player but but you know he's been in the european environment and played in in, in with uh, big matches and big crowds so uh, but i think all three i think these are moments where you have to like i said earlier i think opportunities like this come and this is where you got to take advantage of and all eyes i think in the league and maybe around the world will be focusing and watching this game because you know obviously with the impact that messi has had and some of the players but i think those are moments where i think some of those young players, because they're very, very talented, you know, um, uh, use these opportunities to where they can showcase their ability and talent also, but also within the framework of the team. Thanks, Coach. See you Wednesday. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Really appreciate your time. Okay, guys. right away. Um, we're going to get started with Michelle Kaufman from the Miami Herald. Okay. Uh, hello, this is Michelle Kaufman from Miami Herald. You probably know what I'm going to ask about, but I wanted to ask you how different is it to prepare knowing that Lionel Messi would be on the field and not knowing if he's going to be on the field because it's still in question whether he'll be able to play or not. How does that affect you? as a team and personally, when you're preparing, either you're going to be playing perhaps the best player in the world or not, how does that affect your preparation? Thank you. Yeah, first of all, hello everybody. And <clears throat> the preparation gonna is not gonna change, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna prepare uh, as normal as always. Um, yeah, everybody is exciting uh, to play against Inter Miami. Um, if Messi is injured or not, uh, me personally, I'm not thinking too much about this because 
yeah, in the end of the day, is a game, and we try to beat. Uh, we want to beat uh, Miami at home with a big, a big crowd, and um, yeah, in the end of the day, we have to to perform well, and uh, we need three points. And uh, yeah, of course, the, the Inter Miami is a different team if if when uh, Messi play and when he's not playing. So um, you saw that in the last few games, um, when Messi plays, the everybody in the team is is is, is better. And that's why he's the best in the world at the moment. Uh, but uh, we prepare as no very normal, like every game, and um, we try to to win this game with or without Messi. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Next, we'll go to Joe Chats from On Tap Sportsnet. Thanks, E. Hey, Shaq, how's it going today? All good, thank you. Thank you for the time. Uh, I'm curious, uh, you've had the opportunity for some of your younger teammates to watch them really grow. Uh, Yorios just got named to the team of the match day uh, after that goal from the uh, assist you had. I'm curious, watching these young guys, Yorios, uh, Brian, grow into these roles this year, what you've seen from them and uh, what it looks like in the future for them. Yeah, they are... Uh... Uh, good players, good talent players. Um, yeah, if they work hard every day, if they if they are consistent in training in games, then they they have a yeah good career ahead. Uh, but they are still young; they can improve. And uh, if they if they uh, are consistent, uh, bringing um, good performances, then I'm sure they can. They can uh, have a good career, not only in MLS, but also maybe to make a move to Europe to a, a good team and uh, yeah, to get better. But of course, they are important players for us, and uh, I hope they can, yeah, they can make steps forward um, and can help more uh, everybody in this club and then to be successful. I think this is the goal. What we what we should have and uh, we need um, that. Uh, we, that we are uh, successful as a team and as a club. And uh, yeah, they are um, very good players, important players for the club, for us as a team. And uh, I hope they they yeah, they get better every every year, every game, every training. So um, yeah, they are exciting players. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Katie Witham from Apple TV. Hi, Shaq. Thank you for the time. I'll be on the sideline for Apple TV English. I'm just curious. And I know as a competitor, as a professional, you're always looking at ways you can improve and raise your game. What are you focused on right now in terms of your own game? Um, where are, are you seeing improvement? And then specifically, how do you want to influence this game on Wednesday night? There are always improvement, of course, um, but uh, I don't see uh, only... Uh, as a one person, uh, we we have a whole team who, who everybody needs to perform, and uh, of course, uh, uh, I'm also one of the leaders who who goes in front and uh, try to perform as best as possible, um, and uh, I try this every day. Um, sometimes goes well, sometimes not. Uh, uh, this was the whole season a bit, uh, our season, uh, but we have a chance now, and uh, we have three more games to play, and uh, everything is in our hands too, so we can make the playoffs this season, uh, but we need uh, points and, uh, but uh, of course, everyone can improve, uh, so um, me included, and I try to help my team as best as possible with my uh, skills, with my, uh, with my uh, tools who I have and who are, who, who I am very good at, so I'm, I'm trying to help the team every time. Thank you. Next, we will go to Alex Calabresi, Men in Red 97. Uh, yes. Good to share that. Nice to speak with you today. I just wanted to ask about, because in your career, you've been known as a big game player, turning up in some important moments. Even though it's been a difficult season, are you excited for these last three games to potentially make the playoffs and fight to get in that last spot? Yeah, very. I think this is the best games to play all the time. I think as a player, you want this kind of final games and uh, to to play for something, so um, 
we put ourselves in this position and uh, we have a chance to do it. So uh, now we have to perform. And uh, yeah, I think it was a good step against Red Bull to win this game. It was important. Now three games are like final games. And the guys, I told the guys before the game that they are, there is no, uh, no tomorrow, no, <laughs> uh, no yesterday. So um, we have to perform well and uh, to win these games. To, to if you want to achieve something. Um, so um, every game is gonna be a final, and uh, yeah, uh, we start with Red Bull. It was a good win, and I hope this gives us, uh, yeah, positive um, vibes and positive uh, for the whole team that we can go in the next games and. We're gonna take game per game, and the next one is Inter Miami, and uh, we know uh, also Inter Miami uh, didn't win like the last few games, uh, so um, it's gonna be a good game, I think. And uh, yeah, we try, and we need a good performance from everybody to to try our achieve our goals, and first of all, these three points to take, and uh, that the three points stays uh, in Chicago. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Next, we will go to Larry Hawley from WGN. Hey, Jordan. Thanks for the time today. Appreciate it. Um, I wanted to ask you what this match, I mean, beyond the playoffs, so what this match means to the fire as a franchise as a whole, because you're going to have so many people in the stands who might be seeing the club for the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's it's going to be exciting, I think, for them too. That's why it is more important that we perform well and uh, uh, put a good performance, uh, not only uh, for the club, uh, for ourselves, but also for the fans who maybe come for the first time in, in the stadium to watch soccer. So, um, yeah, we we wanna we wanna play offensive. We wanna score some a lot of goals, and uh, this is uh, what I like to play too. So um, I hope we can we can give them a good game first of all. And uh, what the most important thing is that. Uh, we win the game and uh, yeah the people go back home uh, happy and that the next time they that they can they're gonna come again and uh, cheer us more i think this is everywhere the same in sport if you are successful more people are gonna come watch you and uh, this is what we want here we want we want success and we for for this uh, we want if you want people a lot of people in the stadium you need to be successful and that's what we try to do every day and uh, yeah i hope uh, yeah, not only for this game, but uh, in the near future, that uh, more people gonna come uh, watch us and uh, cheer us. But it needs also uh, from our side uh, good performances and uh, yeah, su success. Thank you and good luck this Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go two more questions. Next, we'll have Russell Wifey from Planet Sport UK, and then we'll go finish with Michelle Kaufman. Hey, Shaq. Um, good afternoon. Um, I remember the last time I, I wrote an article was way back in the UK, and you made mention of how important Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are such key players for uh, for their respective clubs. But how will you compare the two, right? Currently, who is the best player among the two? Uh, on the world or...? Everywhere in the world for club and country. No, for me it's clear Ronaldo and Christ and uh, Messi are the best uh, players in the world at the moment, and uh, it's not only for a year; it's a uh, last uh, decade. So um, um, these guys they are uh, among the best athletes uh, in in history of sport, among the others uh, athletes like Michael Jordan or. Uh, Tom Brady and uh, these kind of uh, athletes because they are what they did for the fo for for football the last uh, decade is unbelievable. Who is difficult to to achieve? So um, we should be happy to enjoy them every day because one day they are not anymore here. So I think we we have to enjoy these guys seeing every day on TV or uh, live in the stadium because one day they are not going to be here anymore and. Uh, I don't know when the next Messi or Ronaldo comes, so uh, it's 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 difficult. Thank you. So you can't pick that. You can't pick within the two. Hmm? You can't pick within the two. Uh, it, it's difficult to compare, but for me, of course, uh, I'm a big uh, Messi. I always admire, and uh, of course, for me, Messi is uh, 
uh, if I have to choose now at the moment, Messi won just the World Cup, so um, I think this is the only thing who he he missed. So uh, I think I will I will I will choose at the moment uh, for sure Lionel Messi. Thank you, Michelle. I saw your hand went down. Does that mean you don't have a follow up? Yeah, everything was answered. Thank you so much. Great. Jack, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank Take you. Take care and see you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. See you.